Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another update video for today. And let's take a look at the heat map here. So kind of a flat day in the market, right? Amazon, Facebook, Google, big tech, all kind of plus or minus 1%. The semi has kind of popped off a little bit. AMD was up 2.9%. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Micron up 2%, actually has earnings as we speak, as I'm recording this video. So we'll take a look at that. Nvidia also up 1.5%, but Overall, a lot of red or a lot of flatness on the board, which is kind of what I expected after a pretty decent green day yesterday. I kind of figured that we would be either flat at best or maybe have a little bit of profit taking and have a little bit of a sell off today. Also, the debate is tonight, so it'll be really interesting to see what happens tomorrow morning. I'm actually most curious about how tomorrow's trading day is going to go. And then also, as we do every Thursday, the unemployment numbers will come out Thursday, so we'll see how Thursday reacts to that. And then Friday will be close to the end of the trading week. So we have the potential, I think, to have two more red days, at least in tomorrow and Thursday, if you know the market doesn't react favorably to the debate and the potential unemployment numbers. But we'll just have to wait and see. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off today talking about AMD like I usually do. So I still own 200 shares of AMD that I was assigned at $85 a share off some cash secured puts. Now, the past two weeks, I was able to sell covered calls to reduce my cost basis by about a dollar. So essentially my cost basis is just about $84 per share. And once I saw that we went green hard this morning, I mean, we opened up pretty much flat, but within the first like 10 minutes, we shot up 1.5% almost. And then once I saw that, I thought, okay, today might be the day that AMD takes off to the moon. We might be big green today. So today might be a great day to sell my covered calls because if potentially tomorrow and Thursday are going to be red days, then today is going to be a great day. So I waited on it. You know, it shot up a lot. Like I said, 1.5% about in the first 10 minutes, we pulled back a little bit and then again, it took off again, all the way up to over 2%, about 2.3% all within within the first hour of trading. So I said, you know what? This stock is already up 2.3% in an hour. It might not get much better than this. So let me sell my covered calls now, which is what I did. And I was able to sell two covered calls and I sold weekly covered calls. And I'll talk about why, but I sold them that expire this Friday or in four trading days at the $85 strike, which was my original cost basis. And I sold them for $41 in premium each. Now, looking at this graph already, you're gonna say in hindsight, that was a bad move because initially I was looking good because we sold off pretty much right after I got in. So I was like really lucky. I felt really good about that. But then we just kept rallying all day long. I mean, at some point of it, about 3.20 p.m. Eastern time, we were up over 3.5%, 3.75%. So if I had waited, the longer I would have waited all day long, the more premium I would have gotten. So I certainly left money on the table, but you know what? You can't sweat that small stuff. So let's just take a look at it. So the covered calls at the 85 strike, they're currently going for $46 in premium, which is actually interesting because I think that's because we sold off a little bit. If we go back to the graph here, we sold off a little bit right here during the power hour from about 320 down to about 345, 340-ish. We sold off from about 82.46 to under $81. We sold off about a dollar. So I think that crushed some of the premium. But at some point, you know, I was down, I think, about $10 or $20 in premium per contract because the 85 strike premiums were in like the 50s or even 60s earlier in the day after, of course, I opened my position. But again, you can't sweat the small stuff. I mean, if we think about it, if I can get $41 in premium in basically four trading days on essentially $8,500 in collateral, that is a return on risk or return on capital of 0.5% in four trading days, which is great. Now, if you watched my previous videos, you're probably asking yourself, well, why didn't you sell the option for the following Friday? Because you told me that that was a more efficient use of capital. I mean, 85 strike, you could have gotten almost triple what I got, $1.65 compared to 41 cents. And you're right. The reason I didn't do that is because AMD has a big catalyst coming up next week. On Thursday, October 8th, is when AMD is going to release the specs on their new Zen 3 CPU chipset. So I'm expecting there to be a run up this week, but also primarily next week up until those specs are released just because of off hype, basically. So 
I was honestly afraid that if I sold an 85 strike covered call by October 9th, meaning two weeks from now, that AMD might go to like 90 before then, and I was gonna miss out on a lot of profit. So I said, let me sell a weekly at 85, because I don't think it's gonna get to 85. I mean, look at how it did today. I mean, it took off like a rocket. It was up overall 2.9% just about today. So it's possible after what I saw today, but I think we might have a little bit of a pullback at some point, maybe tomorrow or Thursday, but we'll have to wait and see. And the reason I sold it at 85 and also for this week was because I was looking at my trading view chart here, my technical analysis that I did. And as we can see yesterday, we closed above this area of resistance, which was at about $78. And today we got confirmation because we stayed above it and actually we stayed trading above this pink line, which is the 50 day moving average. So these are both bullish trends here. And then not only that, but we closed above this area of resistance at about $80. So right now we'll have to wait and see tomorrow to see if we stay above $80. If we pull back below 80 and trade between about 78 and 80, then that tells me that 80 is an area of strong resistance. It's going to take a lot of extra oomph to break above that. But not only that, the next area of resistance I've identified is about $83, $84. So at the time when AMD was trading kind of in this area in the morning, I said, okay, 85 should be good because there's only four trading days. And in four trading days, AMD has to blast above two areas of resistance and also the 21 day moving average. But today it started to moon and it broke above the 21 day MA and also this area of resistance. So if we have two or three more days like we did today, then yes, I'm probably going to be in the money and I could think about rolling it out if I wanted to, but I probably won't. I'll probably just get it called away because honestly, right now I'm so tenuous in the market that I do want to be as much cash as possible. And so I do have the possibility of getting my shares called away on Friday, collecting a few hundred bucks in premium between my covered calls last week and my covered calls this week. And you know what? Just being cash because I do have a decent chunk of change tied up in AMD. I have $8,500 in one contract and I have two of those. So I actually have $17,000 that's tied up right now in AMD, which is a good chunk of my portfolio. So I would love to free up that capital, maybe sell some cash to get puts on other tickers if I wanted to, but at least I have that option now of being cash in case the market does continue a downtrend. So that's what my move was today. I basically locked up all of my shares of AMD in covered calls for this week alone, but I'm really hoping that we kind of close Friday at like 83, 84, and that my shares don't get called away. So then next week I can sell more covered calls at maybe 85 for a lot of premium or 86 or 87. And that way, if we keep rising, I can collect stock appreciation in addition to my premium. That's the best case scenario. But like I said, I'm not worried if my shares get called away. A, kind of, a part of me kind of wants them to get called away. So no matter what happens with AMD this week, I'm going to be happy with it. Now, let's talk about space here. This is the other plays I have on. If you saw my video from last night, you know I already own 200 shares of Virgin Galactic that I was assigned at $19 a share about two months ago. I've been selling covered calls on it ever since then. And yesterday, I sold two covered calls because space actually just, I mean, space truly mooned. It was up, I think, over 25% in the day. So I sold covered calls and I sold them for a good chunk of change. I'm really happy about that. I sold two different strikes. I sold a one uh, 20 strike call for $100 in premium. That expires this Friday. And another $20.50 call for $80 in premium. That also expires this Friday. So again, Right now, the 20 strike call is in the money, but the $20.50 is just out of the money. So we'll have to wait and see. I was really expecting a big pullback today in space. I mean, we did end up with a red day, but only down about less than a percent. So I was really hoping for a really big pullback because I thought there would be a lot of profit taking today, but that didn't happen. Maybe it'll happen tomorrow or Thursday. We'll see. But again, similar situation with space. If my shares get called away, I mean, I've been bag holding these things for pretty much two months now selling covered calls on it all the while. My cost basis right now is about $17 and some change. Um, if both of these options expire worthless, my cost basis will be pretty much $17 or maybe even the high $16. I have to do the math on that. But similar scenario, if, if they get called away, I'm going to be happy with that. If both my space and AMD shares get called away, then I'll be 100% cash. And I think I'll sleep a little bit better at night because the market's been a little bit iffy, especially with the election coming up. So we'll see. I mean, again, I have $17,000 tied up in AMD shares and I have $3,800 because 1900 times two, I have $3,800 tied up 
in Virgin Galactic shares. So I would love to be all cash coming into this weekend, but a better scenario would be if I don't get my shares called away, collect max profit, and then next week I can sell more covered calls for very good premium if my share prices are close to my strike prices, and then get called away next week. But we'll just have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the trading view graph on space. So similar situation with space, however, we gapped up yesterday. I mean, we broke past this area of resistance at about 1660. We broke above the 21 day moving average and above the 50 day moving average and this area of resistance at 18 and some change. So very strong move in space yesterday. But then, you know, I was curious if this area of resistance identified at about $20.50 or 60 cents was going to hold up. And as we can see, we tried intraday. We tried to get above it but we just couldn't do it. We actually closed pretty much right where we closed yesterday. So it looks like right around $20.60 is an area of resistance right now. So that makes me feel better because that tells me I do have a chance that this Friday space will close below $20.50 or maybe even $20 because that's right where this area of trend line is, but also this Fibonacci level here as well. So I think I have a chance. Um, of my options expiring worthless for me to collect max profit. I mean, if space closes at like 19, next Monday, I could sell 20 strike covered calls for very juicy premiums and then just basically expect my shares to get called away next week. That's kind of what I want to happen for me is I want, I want my shares to get called away next week. I want the share prices to go up just so that I can sell very good premium covered calls on Monday. But we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I would be totally happy if both my AMD and space shares got called away on Friday. But that was pretty much my trading day today. Overall, I had a good day today. Can't complain. You know, I have the potential to make $180 off my two covered calls on Virgin Galactic and another $82 on my covered calls on AMD. So I have the potential to make $262 in a week, which I'm very happy about. So let me know in the YouTube comments below. If you opened up any positions today, if you have any trades on on Space or AMD, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure you join our Discord server if you're not in there already. And as always, happy trading.